If you want to learn how to make guilt-free delicious donuts, I'm going to show you how to do it today. But we're not just making the regular donuts, we're baking this in an air fryer, you guys. It is going to be exciting. If you want to see how I make this, keep watching. We need only a few ingredients. We have some purpose flour, we have some granulated sugar, some milk, melted butter, salt, yeast, two egg yolks, and vanilla extract. In a bowl, add half of the flour, add the granulated sugar, add the yeast, add the salt, and then give it a good mix. Next, you add the milk, add the melted butter, add the egg yolk, and then you add the vanilla extract. Combine everything till you get a smooth batter. Next, cover with a cling film and then leave it for about 30 to 40 minutes or till you start to see bubbles on top. Once you can see those tiny bubbles on top, now you add in the remaining flour that was left over earlier and then you mix everything. Now you are going to need to make a dough, so you are going to mix everything with your spatula and once you can no longer do that, you have to use clean hands to make a dough. It should take about 7 minutes. Once you have your dough like this, you're going to put it in a bowl, cover it with a cling film or a kitchen napkin and put in a warm place. I usually put mine in the oven, not in a heated oven. I put it in the oven for about an hour and a half till it doubles in size. Now the dough has doubled in size, we're going to take it out of the bowl. It is ready for the next stage. So what we're going to do next is to flour our worktop surface. Just sprinkle some flour on top so that your donuts do not stick to the surface. We're going to place the dough on the surface and then you're going to have to get a rolling pin to roll it out. Next, you're going to get a cookie cutter and just create those donut shapes. So if you can find any kind of cutter, it could be the cover of something that you have at home and you just need to use it to create those holes to cut out the dough and to create the donut shape. So once we do that with the first donut shape, we're going to create those little holes as well. So I have another tiny cookie cutter I'm going to use for that just to create those holes in the middle. You can leave it like this, it's totally fine, but I wanted the holes in the middle, <laughs> donuts with the holes.
Next, we're going to transfer the donuts to a tray. We're going to allow it rest for a bit. So for about 10 to 20 minutes, you cover it with a cloth, allow it to rest so that it rises again. The thing with donuts is you have to be patient. So allow it to rise again, and then we can get to the final stage. Now it is time to make our donuts. Typically, we will make donuts by frying them. Sometimes you can bake them, which is why I'm going to be using my air fryer today. This is my new Philips air fryer. I've been trying it for so many recipes. I'm putting a parchment paper and I'm going to put my donuts in there. And they cook really, really fast, you guys. You should probably just stand by your air fryer. The awesome thing about this Philips air fryer is that you do not need to preheat. Depending on how you raise the temperature of the air fryer, it can cook very fast or very slow. I made mine within six minutes. This Philips air fryer is really exciting. I like it because the space is big, big enough for me to fit in four donuts if I want that once or maybe five depending on the size of the donuts. And as you can see, our donuts are ready. It didn't even take long at all. While it's cooling off a bit, I'm going to make the glaze. And I wanted an exciting glaze because of the kids. So I'm just going to add a bit of icing sugar, some milk, and a little coloring. We're going to use pink today. You can use whatever color you like. You can just use butter and sugar and rub it all over the donuts. Do what you want. But we're going to be making a pink glaze today. Make sure your donut has not cooled down. You are going to dip it face forward first and then it will just be easy for that glaze to stay on top see how pretty it looks really really gorgeous we're going to do that with all the donuts and we're just going to set them aside Once the donuts have been glazed, we're going to make it even more exciting by adding some sprinkles. Look how gorgeous our donuts look. They're so pretty. If you have kids, they're going to love it. And even grown-ups love donuts like this. Is there anyone that doesn't like donuts? I can't believe we made this in an air fryer really fast. If you don't have an air fryer, you should get the Philips air fryer. I highly recommend it. If you're going to try this recipe, please tag me on social media. I would love to see it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.